Hello, my name is Betty Campbell. I was born in 1934. A while ago, I was a head teacher, but now I'm a statue standing in the center of Cardiff. Oh, I feel stiff from standing here. It's hard being a statue. Especially when these seagulls are landing on you. Oh. 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 Before me, there wasn't a statue of a real life woman in Wales. I was chosen to become that statue. There was a competition held to choose an important woman of a famous woman. And I was chosen, me. But the most important place was the place I was born and the best place in the world. Does anyone know where the best place in the world is? And the best place in the world is Butte Town. Or the name in Welsh is Tre Butte. In the past, Tiger Bay was the name. It was close to the old docks and the sea. Now, I remember it being a fierce place and a friendly place. I was the first black headmistress. I was the headmistress in Mount Stewart Primary. But before all of this, when I was young, I loved school so much that I decided to take an exam in order to gain a place in the big school called Lady Margaret High School for Girls. I had a dream to become a teacher and change the world. I felt so excited to tell my teacher, but do you know what she said to me? Oh no, darling, the problems would be insurmountable for you. She thought that I wouldn't succeed just because the colour of my skin. Like having black skin is a problem. I never felt so sad because I knew it wasn't true. I went to my mum and she said to me, remember Betty, you're no better than anyone but no beggar is better than you either. And she was right. I succeeded. I was the first black headmistress in Wales. And I promised to teach the kids about the history of Butte Town through my eyes. Now, are we ready to learn? Great. Back in the 1800s, over 200 years ago, Cardiff was a small and quiet place. But something big was happening in the valleys of South Wales. Do we know what? Men were working very hard to mine the coal and the minerals. But why? Well, because of the Industrial Revolution. Now, more and more machines were invented, which needed the coal to fuel. But not only that, they needed fuel for the factories and the trains. In 1839, the first dock was built. And this is the man that paid for it all. John Crichton Stewart, second Marquis of Butte. Now, he wanted everyone to know that he owned the place. By then, Cardiff grew a lot. Can you imagine the place? Cranes in the horizon, smoke in the air. <coughs> the railway carrying tons and tons of coal. Ships in the water. The place looked completely different. There was loads of people moving in to Cardiff over 50 different countries. My mum came all the way, come, to Barbados. And my dad came 
all the way from Jamaica to live and work here. Now, there was lots of people from Somalia and Yemen, across the world, Jamaica, Barbados, to live in Cardiff. In 1914 to 1918, something big happened across the whole wild world. Do we know what? The First World War. A lot of soldiers were killed in the war. And for the ones that came home, their normal lives were no longer normal. A lot of people moved in to Cardiff and took up jobs. But for the ones that came home, there were no jobs for them. And this caused the riots in 1919. The riots went on for three days. Now, the people with white skin were angry with the new people that had black and brown skin. Now, I think this is really racist. Racism is when we believe that someone who looks different or from a different country shouldn't have the same things as us or are bad people. Now, I think that we should treat people the same way as we would like to be treated. Do you agree? 1939, it was an important year across the whole world. World War II! Lots of bombs were being dropped on Cardiff! There were planes in the air! Oh, it was so noisy! I'm scared! Every window was covered with blankets! Help! Help! Unfortunately, my dad was killed in the war when I was six years old. He had been working away on a ship called the Ocean Vanguard when it was hit by a torpedo. In 1953, I married my husband, Rupert, and we had four children. Oh, it was an exciting time in my life. Hip hip. In 1960, the college decided to train women as teachers for the first time ever. I remembered my dream and I decided to go for it. I was one of only six women allowed into the college that first year. I got my first job in 1963 in Llan Romney. But every day, I dreamt of returning to Butte Town to teach. In 1964, the government decided to demolish Butte Town. Butte Town didn't look the same anymore. In 1966, the government decided to build new flats in Butte Town. But by this time, everyone had moved out. There were new flats built, new schools, places to work, but most importantly, I got my first job as headmistress in the school named Mount Stewart Primary. In 1987, the council decided to recreate the docks. A lagoon was created, and on that, there were businesses, places to eat, and shops. The Millennium Centre was also created and an important place called the Senef, where important decisions across Wales are made. Now, the new name of the bay is Cardiff Bay. Now, you'd never believe that big ships were coming through the docks. Look at it today. Well, it's likely that ice cream <laughs> is more important than the coal and iron these days. <laughs> well, what about me? I helped create something called Black History Month. Now, 
Black History Month happens every year in October. So remember to put it in your calendar. It helps us to remember history about people who look like me. If you remember my story, Betty Campbell, the little girl from the docks with a dream to become a teacher and change the world. Well, I did, and you can do it too. When someone thinks you can't do something, it's all right to feel sad for a while, but then go out and prove them wrong and make sure that you help other people to do that too. Come and see me in Cardiff and tell me all about the amazing things you'd like to achieve in the future. I love a bit of gossip. My statue tells stories that many people didn't know about my Butte Town, the place where you could see the world in a square mile. I wonder if there are any stories or histories about your home. Why don't you find out? I'd love to hear about any. Goodbye.